Hey there, it's Song from Songweb. Imagine a country banning Google fonts. Well, it's not just a country, it's the European Union. Germany rules out that all websites embedding Google fonts will be violating GDPR. In fact, a regional court in Germany has fined the website 100 euros for violating GDPR because that website uses Google fonts. And guess what? It's not just that website that uses Google Forms. Over 50 million websites worldwide uses Google Forms. So let's ban or fine all of them? Is that what you want EU? In fact, EU is also set to potentially consider Google Analytics as illegal very soon. But we'll talk about that in another video. What do you think about EU laws? Especially this law that made Google Forms illegal. I think it's absurd that EU is going on a banning streak lately, but the concern about Google font exposing a person's personal data, that is the IP address, is legit. But still, I'd like to hear your opinions down in the comments. So go ahead and express yourself down there. Now let's talk about what should we do about Google fonts. Well, we can just load Google fonts locally. In fact, that's a good practice for improving page speed. So you should be doing that anyways. Now, let me show you how to do that. All right, so we'll come to the dashboard and uh, go to the plugins to add a new plugin. And here we will search for uh, Google font locally and we're gonna be installing the oh my gf plugin and once you're installed just activate it all right so now that it's successfully activated we'll go to the settings and here you can see it's on manual default mode and i recommend choosing the swap uh, recommended font display option here below you can see some settings which are not clickable because those are pro pro edition ones and here in the manage optimized font section you have a url to scan tab and this is the url that you have to enter so that it scans for the url and then it will pull all the fonts that have been used in that page so that's a limitation in the free uh, version of the plugin because in the pro version, it will automatically scan your entire site, all of it, all of your sites, pages and posts, and then pull all the fonts. But in the free version, you have to manually enter each and every page of your website in order for it to scan that uh, particular page and post. So for example, if you have a page with um, a Google font uh, and another page with another Google font, a different one then you have to scan that another page as well so this is a limitation but you can get past that limitation if you uh, purchase the pro version of the plugin so anyways in the detection settings uh, we have the google fonts processing and just leave it at uh, replace default then i'll go and create a new page uh, so that i can test uh, pulling uh, of the fonts from that page and I wanted to give a give it a HTML class, but I don't know much about Gutenberg. So I'll just go and install the hello theme and then I'll install the Elementor page builder uh, so that I can actually create and add some fonts on the page using Elementor. So I'll load Elementor, add a new section and then add a heading widget, then give it a Google font called Sophia. And uh, I'm just going to center the text and give it a nice text and then go to the size settings and I'll also change it to Sophia I know Roboto is a Google font but I'll uh, change it to Sophia because it looks cool and then I'll go to the plugin settings again I'll copy the uh, I'll copy the URL of the page and then I'll come here and paste the URL and then I'll click on save and optimize I'll just speed this process up a little bit and there you go that's done um, if we scroll now um, we can see that in this managed optimized font section we can see Roboto slab and we can also see Sophia 
um but let's let's try it again because uh, in sophia i don't see much option so i'll go and create another page um this time i'll add a heading and here i'll add montserrat and then i'll come here and just to show you uh, what it would look like if you want to uh, add another page because that url pasting uh, box is gone so how can you bring it back you gotta press empty cache directory button here and once you click that you can see that url to scan box appears again so i'll just uh, paste the new url link here and save and optimize and i'm gonna speed this process again uh, i'll speed it up more and then we are done let's see scroll down and we can see sophia roboto slab and we can see roboto and we can see monserrat and it seems like sophia doesn't have too much options but monserrat have a lot anyways i'd recommend you get the pro version of the plugin there's lots of good reviews for it because it gives a lot of features like fallback font stack and the above features that you were seeing but in the free version you can uh, use preload fonts to make it faster and also not loading some of the font weights um, so that's cool as well then save and change save changes and you're good to go all right so the second method to add google fonts locally on your wordpress website is to use your theme settings some themes in wordpress like the cadence theme the astra theme have the option to add google fonts locally in their settings just go to their uh, themes customizer so you can add it that way and that would be much much easier for you to add google fonts provided that you have a theme that lets you add google fonts locally not all themes have that um, i use hello theme so it doesn't have that so um, but hello theme is one of the lightest theme you can check my that video uh, where i compare all the themes in terms of page speed and uh, bloat but some themes are also lightweight like astra and cadence not the lightest but have a ton of great features uh, like adding google fonts locally so you can use any theme like that but what if you don't have a theme like that and still want a relatively easier way to add google fonts locally well there's a third way and the third way to add google fonts locally is to use a performance plugin a performance plugin uh, is like a, a, like a caching plugin but uh, i use the lightspeed cache plugin and the lightspeed cache plugin doesn't have this but i also use perf matters now i use perf matters because i uh, use it to deload some of the assets that should not be loading on a particular page so in perf matters go to the settings um, at Google Fonts locally. I'll probably show the process here on the screen right now and they also have a very awesome documentation that you can follow. Those are two different ways to add Google Fonts locally that by using a theme settings in customizer or by using a performance plugin like Perf Matters and any other performance plugin. I just don't know other performance plugins. Um, but those are two relatively easier ways but in case you don't know how to do that just follow the first one use the omgf omfg plugin uh, it's also relatively easier if you have the pro version that's great that's gonna be really easy because it's gonna automatically pull all the fonts from all of the pages by the way if you do decide to purchase uh, any of the pro versions of the plugins then i'll leave the link my referral link down in the description and you can use the referral links to purchase i'll get a little bit kickback from you which helps me continue this youtube channel for free and thank you so i really appreciate that your support and thanks for watching i'll also make a video on google analytics because that's also going to be banned in the european union so that's a major critic point i'll make a video on that so subscribe for that and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.